The cause of a fire which burned an area volunteer firefighter is under investigation. News 10 has learned the firefighter, 35-year-old Brandon Hoopengarner, was released from the hospital this afternoon with second and third degree burns. News 10's Dan Klein reports his chief is thankful it was not any worse. If it wasn't for the hood, the hoop probably wouldn't be here. The scorched protective gear serves as a visible marker of what happened late Tuesday night. Nevins Township volunteers responded to a fully engulfed garage fire on East Ermine Avenue near Miami Garden Street in the Clay County line. Chief Bill Camp says firefighters, including Brandon Hoopengardner, were moving this 55-gallon drum when it burst into flames. From what we can determine, nothing was done wrong. It was just, a, just an accident that went bad, real bad. Uh, we're lucky that it didn't turn out any worse than what it did. Camp was told the barrel was filled with paint thinner. He says Hoopengardner yeah. has second and third degree burns on his hands, first and second degree burns on his face. In the middle of the interview, Camp got the call that some poles from the barn had sparked back up, forcing him to head back to the scene. Camp remembers being called here before because of an explosion about a year and a half ago. He says no cause was ever determined, but several things found in the area were suspicious to investigators as possible elements in a meth lab. Though the barn and everything in it is a total loss, the news of Hoopengardner's release from the hospital is a big relief to the entire department. Uh, his hopes are good. He's coming back. We can't wait to put him back in some new gear. Hopefully this new gear will keep its yellow color unblemished for years to come. Reporting in Vigo County, Dan Klein, News 10. An investigator with the state fire marshal's office will be out tomorrow morning to look for a cause.